Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, Stardew Valley. Um, I just got this game. I've actually never heard of it until the other day. Um, but it's by the same people as um, Terraria. I mean, the same uh, like 505 Games, the same same company, I guess. Um, but yeah, I played a little bit, so I know the basic controls and and whatever. And I feel like it would be a fun game to uh, to play. Uh, it's a computer game, and it's basically a farming simulator. It may as well just be a farming simulator. Let's do a new new game. I do I do like how you can do this. Like you can change it, or ch like customize a, a person. We're going we're going. Name is Mink. Farm name. Um. Um, um, Swagger Farm. Sounds like a good name, right? Swagger Farm. I like it a lot. Favorite thing? Um, bitches. Do, do I have to put, I'm gonna put food. Because everyone's favorite thing should be food. Animal preference, I'm actually a dog person. I cannot stand cats. I, I hate I hate cats with a fiery passion. Um skin color, I'm 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 that color. Hair, let's go with the most obnoxious hair. There we go, that's perfect. Um a tuxedo. Pants color, we want black pants. Because I'm wearing a tuxedo, so. Hey, Cortana is the new gateway. No, go away. Go away. Alright, that'll that'll do, I guess. Um, standard farm, a simple plot of land with a large amount of open space to design your farm. No, that doesn't sound fun. This is the one that I had on my other save. I have the Riverland farm. Which is, it's basically just a farm surrounded by water. Uh, uh, the woods limit is your farming space. However, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep. Uh, hilltop farm, rocky terrain, and a winding river make it difficult to design your farm. However, a mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. And wilderness farm. There's plenty of good land here, but beware, at night monsters come out. We're doing that one. Cause I ain't no batch. Alright, so here's the... Sleepy grandfather. And for my very special grandson... I want you to have the sealed envelope. It's not very old person sounding. That's okay, though. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will, there will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. It's very, very, uh cryptic there, grand granddad. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Can I have that sword? Is that my gift in the, in the background? The sword? That'd be sweet. Now, let grandpa rest. X, X years later. I'm assuming, I think that's 20. 20 years later in Roman numerals. Joja, join us thrive. It's work time. Smile, you're with Joja. No. We'll rip that guy. What do you do, not compute things? That guy's licking his lips. Hey, there I am. Oh god, look at the skeleton in the corner. What kind of place is this? I need water? What, what does that mean? Is this my is this my my burden of emptiness? 
Dear Mink, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I had lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature, so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure, Grandpa. Anything for you. Anything for you, Santa looking granddad. I'm on a bus. Some 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 beautiful scenery. Some really nice scenery actually. Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles that way. Ah, oh, little bird. I'm a little bird. Sound like a gunshot. What kind of place is this? Oh. Robin. Hello, you must be Mink. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you follow me. Totally sounds like a girl, right? This is a nice looking, nice looking house here. This is Swagger Farm. Yay. Oh, that's not, that's not a, a hooray thing. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Yeah, thanks, lady. Why don't you make yourself useful and help me clean it out? And here we are, your new home. Mayor Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Quite. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. <laughs> Little bitch. Don't listen to her, Mink. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmph. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Well, screw the townspeople. I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here and I'll come by during the night and collect it. Well, good luck. Thank you, Mayor Lewis. You're a good dude. What are you what are you walking around at night for? Okay, so it's day one. Day Uno of of living on this farm and and uh, doing stuff, I don't know. $500, whoa. All right, move and then check. Parsnip seeds, sick. So you receive 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you, Mayor Lewis. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. You're a good guy. What are those? Oh, that's right, I'm in the I got a lamp. I don't have a lamp on my other one. All right, let's look at the journal. You can press back if you want to do that. Uh, it would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Two out of 28. That is a lot of people that I need to meet. Um, press back again. Getting started. Uh, if you want to become a farmer, you need you have to start with the basics. You use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. Cultivate and harvest a, a single parsnip. I have 15, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make 15. 
All right, and we got this mess here. So I'm gonna do some cleaning out quick. And um, let me just explore. I've, I've only done the, the the river river farm, so I don't I don't know what what everything else is gonna be like. Oh, but yeah, you have to use this certain tools to mine certain things, obviously. But yeah, it's 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 a casual game, and I I, I dig a casual game. And you have an energy bar too over in the corner, um, 264 to 270. Every time you 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 do something, that energy bar will go down a little bit. And at, at night time, since I'm in this the the wilderness farm. Um, little monsters will come out at me. I'm use the axe, but I'm going to plant some parsnips right here. Six. We'll make. We'll do nine. I lied. We'll do. We'll do twelve. We may as well just go all fifteen. Some clay. Yeah, and you need the, the cursor to help you plant things. I mean, I guess you don't really need to, but it's a, it's a little easier. But yeah, you need to be in vicinity of the, the spot you're planting in order to plant it. Um, let's chop down this old tree here. Get rid of that cursor, it's not necessary. Bit of little butterflies. Cool. Um, we got some sap too. Get rid of this stuff. So, when when night comes around, I don't know what I'm gonna use as a weapon. I think I'm think I can use my my tools. I just water these plants here. Yeah, probably like I'll probably cut out not in this episode, but like in future episodes if this does well, I'll probably cut out a lot of like the like the farming stuff just because it's kind of it's kind of a lot so let me here's your the your inventory thing swagger farm current funds 500 no big deal I'm just kind of rolling in five in five G's or 500 gold reorganize that um, you got your skills menu Farming, mining, foraging, fishing, and combat. Um, it goes up every time you... Uh, I want to say every time, like every night, something will go up. Like if you like f uh, forage things so you, you like uh, get rid of the plants and whatever, or the, the like the weeds, and like that, that'll that go up one. Now you got your social, you got the... Every single citizen in Pelican Town or Stardew Valley... Um, yeah, you can have relationships with some of the people. You got the map. It's a pretty big map. If I do say so myself. It's... There's a lot you have to, you have to, you have to do. Um, you got your crafting. Crafting menu. Uh, we can craft some of the... Some stuff. Uh, you got your collections. You can do, um... Items shipped. Fish artifacts, minerals, cooking, and achievements, and your options, and then the exit to title. But let's go, let's go into town. Quick, yeah, let's go into town. Um, I don't think, I don't think your energy bar goes down if you're running. You can walk too, but, like, I don't, I don't think it affects it at all. But here's Pelican Town. Got the, uh, the, the, in, the infirmary here. You can buy things. Restores a lot of energy. Muscle remedy. I don't have, I don't have a thousand, a thousand gold. You can go back here and meet this dude. Sup, homie. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I gotta come up with voices for all these people, and it's gonna be a lot, so there might be some repeating voices. 
What is this? Oh. Year, year one. Lewis's birthday. It's in a week. I gotta get him a present. Emily's birthday. Flower dance. Egg festival. Hey, bud. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. That's right there. It's going to Pierre's. Welcome. For you. Marnie. I'm not going to come up with a voice. I I'm... I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. You call my old... My grandfather's farm old, you butthole? Who are you? Pierre? Ah, it's Mr. Mink, the new the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general goods store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy products from you for a good price. Thanks. See what you got. He's got, like, like just seeds and whatever. Seeds and some random stuff. Uh, backpack upgrade, which is will be useful later. Um, I can go back here, I think. But you can't go into their actual houses unless you're really like, good friends with them. What is this? Is this a shrine? Altar of Yoba. Who's Yoba? Ugh. But yeah, you just, like, the beginning parts of this game are pretty, uh, um, They're just kind of, it's kind of a lot to do. That guy's Sam. Ryu. I'm Pam. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Joja Cola. Joja Mart? No, I just, I worked for that place. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into there. Not Joja Mart, I worked for the... Out of order. Well, what the hell? Excuse me, sir. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Hi, Clint. He's the blacksmith. You can buy ore and whatever from him, and you can upgrade your tools. Yeah. Upgrading tools. We can't do any of that yet. Um, I think this is the archaeological office. You know, I actually wanted to be an archaeologist. Gunther. Uh, well, uh, hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Sure. Sure, Gunther. You got a pretty sick name. Um... So yeah, like this, the first, the beginning parts of this game are pretty boring, just because you're, you don't really get much until, like, um, like day f six or seven. Then you start like, like actually, like getting somewhere in the story. You know, this game's got pretty high ratings, so I figured I'd give it a try. Got the, got the beach here. And this is... It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Well, screw that. Your house is on the beach. Hmm. With 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. 300 pieces of wood, my ass. I can fix that with, like, one piece of wood. Can I, can I break this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I kind of want to try, like... I'm probably going to cut some of this out just to get until night because I've never experienced night like or in the in the place that I'm at I've never experienced night so I think that'll be interesting to um to watch so I might I might just uh 
walk around and meet some people. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Sure. But yeah, no, like, you can actually have relationships with the people, with some of the people. You can get married and have children. Which I think is pretty neat. Like, I, ju I just, I really like how casual this game is. So like, you can basically just do whatever you want. Which I, I, I like. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out until nighttime. So, uh, I'll see you guys in just a bit. Okay, it's it's pretty close to nighttime. I was back. Back off. I have a health bar too. What the heck? Come on, bitch. Let's go. 
I'll scythe you to death, punk. Doing so much damage against it. Yeah. 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 What if I use my hoe? Is that any better? Haha, <laughs> sucker. You got a bat wing? What does that do? Die. This one's quick. Back off. Ooh, I got a critical hit. Yeah, sucker. What can I do with a bat wing? Alright, that's that's enough for now. <laughs> that's that's nighttime. So What can I do with this monster loot? Uh material is surprisingly delicate. What can I do with that? What can I do with it? Can I do anything with it? What the heck? Why can't I do anything with it? That's no fun. I can sell it though. I'm gonna sell it quick. Just go over to this uh, this here thing and throw it in there. But yeah, successfully killed two monsters. Uh, let's go to bed now. Yes, I would like to sleep for the night. Let's see what we got. Woo, 72 whole gold. Would you just look at that? How much were the bat wings? 30 gold a piece. Or 30 gold altogether, so 15 gold a piece. But yeah, that's. Uh, this is Stardew Valley, so. Um. Yeah, that's it for this part. Um, I'm probably only gonna play a couple episodes or a couple do a couple parts of this just to um, I, I mean I, I don't want I don't want to pump out so many episodes of one thing and then have it not be you know like popular or because it's just kind of like a waste of my time not really a waste of my time but kind of a waste of my time but uh yeah so if you want to see more of this um, you know let me know and I'll keep doing this. Um, but yeah, leave a like if you like. Subscribe if you have not already. Um, go check out other videos if you if you like. Uh, might leave a playlist in the description or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for tuning in, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.